So we know the issues. We know about energy. We know about the border. We know Joe Biden doesn't know what he's doing. We know all that. We get all that. But why do this? Why do this here tonight with Legacy Pack? Because there's a whole lot of people who have the passion to save this country who need help getting off the ground. The purpose of Legacy Pack is to save America. That's our mission. That's what we really want to do because America is worth saving. Uh, I am by trade, I'm a cybersecurity engineer. Okay, so this is my first run in, in politics. We need more conservative Republicans standing up and fighting for the Constitution. We're an America First Pack and we want to promote and help our uh, up and coming uh, candidates, and uh, we're going to be holding the line for President Trump. I joined the Army at 17 years old. My first day at my first unit, which was 25th Infantry, was September 10th, 2001. So the next day was 9 11. And I spent about a, a total of a decade between Iraq and Afghanistan in country. So my country means everything to me. When I realized that if people like myself who don't want to be politicians don't start stepping up and taking these seats that nothing's going to change, then I said, okay, I'll do it. Who deserves to lead the people of this country more than those who serve this country? So I'm behind every one of them. So let's, uh, let's, let's make sure we get more veterans into, into power. I, I'm all for it. Remember why you're involved. We have to make sure people remain humble and not engage in self-glorification. You are here for one reason, and that is to save the country. Period. End of story. And for those candidates who are looking uphill and wondering how, keep your head down, focus on the target, and outwork everybody. And I promise you, you're not going to lose. You're either going to win on election night, or you change the game on election night. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. Under this administration, they have deliberately opened the border to fundamentally change the fabric of our country. I'm Jared Craig with Legacy Pack. We are here at Eagle Pass, Texas to bring attention to the border crisis, to educate the voters, the citizens of the United States, and the candidates running for federal office the importance of a secure border. And at Legacy Pack, we want to bring candidates here to the border to see it firsthand because there is nothing like being here seeing this. We saw women and children climbing over barbed wire. There is no reason why we cannot secure this border. There is no reason to keep this open. This is not humane. So, so we need to get Victor and all these other good America First candidates into office. We at Legacy Pack depend on your donation and support to support these projects. And we can't do it without you. So please go on to LegacyPack.org and show your support. Stan is with Veterans for Trump. Thank you, Martha. Thank you all. We're honored. I know there are so many organizations represented here today. <laughs> and thank you so much to Stan Fitzgerald. Where is he? There he is. Thank you so much. You are a great patriot. Thank you both. Thank you both for helping out. You're so supportive, not only for people like me, um, President Trump and for America First and MAGA. So God bless you. Thank you. But you're uh, you do very well. And I just had somebody write down. First of all, James and Sarah Pritchard. Thank you very much. Yes, great job. Thank you. We appreciate all the help. Stanley and Donna Fitzgerald. Right here, sir. Thank you very much. It's great. It's great that you're with us. Mike Acton. Hi, this is Stan Fitzgerald, Veterans for Trump, and I'm here with South Carolina Freedom Caucus member Jay Kilmartin. How are you today, sir? I'm doing well, Stan. Thanks for having me. Well, we appreciate you and your support of President Trump, and I love your background. Jay, oh, thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your personal background, your work, and what you've been doing? So, yeah, I um, I'm a restaurant owner. And I've, I've been involved in politics, yelling at politicians for 20 years now. Um, from the outside, I thought I'd give it a try from the inside. Um, I was asked by a couple 
very conservative guys um, to run. And at first I thought they were absolutely crazy. Um, my wife and I prayed about it, and uh, we we had uh, three opponents two years ago. So there was four, and we won with 53% no runoff. Um, and uh, mostly because we were knocking on doors and people just wanted a business person down there. But uh, I have one son who just got out of the Coast Guard. My dad uh, is a World War II veteran. He passed away in 2012. At 93, he was a navigator on a C-46 Curtis Commando, uh, Iwo Jima, Kwajalein, all the all the really bad battles in uh, World War II. Uh, married to Elizabeth, who is my secret weapon. She's out knocking doors right now. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, went into the state house and started voting conservative and started getting attacked by Republicans, of all people. Uh, so, so goes uh, America First Politics. Jay, Absolutely. you guys have been doing some great work in South Carolina. Tell us a little bit about some of the bills you've been working on down there. Well, we just got the um, the uh, made it illegal for doctors in South Carolina to uh, – mutilate the genitals of minors uh, called genital or uh, uh, gender affirming surgeries. Uh, you know, anybody under 18, we got a lot of grief from some Republicans down there because they didn't want teachers to report to parents um, when their kids were transitioning or using different names or different pronouns. Um, so it was a, a really strange battle. Um, you know, if more people paid attention, we wouldn't have these Democrats that, that, that run as Republicans. Um, also, uh, I'm working on uh, trying to get rid of some of our state income tax for teachers, law enforcement, uh, first responders, firemen. Uh, that, that was the first bill I ever uh, wrote, and uh, I'm really proud of it, and I'm getting some bipartisan support for that. Um, when I say bipartisan, I'm getting some Republicans and conservatives. Uh, haven't had any Democrats sign on yet, but um, yeah, and we're just we're generally just working on conservative stuff because we're the bluest red state in the nation. The uh, southern states around us are blowing us away with their conservative legislation, and uh, we are we have fallen way way behind. Well, I I think you and the rest of the Freedom Caucus are doing great trying to catch up. Yeah, now, yeah. Uh, I love the picture behind you. I understand you've endorsed President Trump. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, where you stand with Trump. Um, I was an original never Trumper. I was uh, I worked for Ted Cruz, worked hard. I was a volunteer. Uh, my wife uh, worked for one of the super PACs, one of David Barton's super PACs to get Ted Cruz elected. I was not on board with Trump, but um, a couple months into his uh, presidency, uh, a light bulb went off and um one of, one of the biggest things uh, was when Glenn Beck said he interviewed George Bush, and George Bush said, Glenn, you don't understand how it is when you're president. They all tell you how things are done. And my first thought was them trying to tell Trump how things are done. And uh, that was um, a, a feather in his cap right there because I didn't see him ever bowing to the bureaucracy down there that runs the show. So um, this time... When it came around, I was a big supporter in 2020. Um, when it came, or you know, during this election season, they said don't, you know, everybody said don't endorse so early. And I was one of the first legislators in South Carolina that said I don't care. He's my guy. He knows. I told Ron DeSantis um, I'm voting for Trump because he knows firsthand of the uh, political weaponization of government, and uh, you know who who better than to fight it. Uh, DeSantis gave me a little bit of grief and uh, didn't change my mind. And there's no change in my mind. I think Trump's our only hope at this point. Well, we certainly agree. And I know the president uh, appreciates everything you've been doing there in the Freedom Caucus. Uh, he sent someone from Team Trump to your last uh, meeting, and, as well as our team. So uh, they're watching yeah, yeah. you close. They appreciate you. And uh, I wanted to announce that you have our organization's full endorsement and support. So uh, please go out there and win. Oh, definitely, Stan. I'm, I'm, I'm a fighter like President Trump. I mean, he amazes me, his energy and enthusiasm and love for this country. It just blows me away. We're so blessed to have him at this time. 
and uh, I, I want to be part of him winning. And uh, I really appreciate what you guys do. Um, you know, my people that get it. <laughs> Most people don't, and they never will. So we just replace them. Well, keep fighting and keep replacing them, brother. And uh, we'll, okay, we'll get this you. on the website, not in the media soon. Uh, okay, look, thank you. Look forward to talking to you again. Bye-bye now. Okay, thank you for what you do. Appreciate it, Stan. You're welcome, sir. Okay.